Hey fans, welcome to another video today. Uh, my name's Jay and uh, in this video today I want to talk about a couple of interesting developments from last night. So if you're not aware um, ex to exactly what happened, uh, basically um, we offered about £10 million for Johan Kabay who plays for uh, Newcastle United. He's a French midfielder and uh, that was rejected. Um, the problem is this bid has caused some some kind of uh, media outrage um, by uh, firstly Alan Pardew who's the manager of Newcastle has stated that uh, Arsenal's bid was disrespectful okay so uh, I kind of think that's a bit ridiculous really I mean he's 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 suggested that you know they could have played better if Kabai was playing because apparently um, he was with the squad, he was training and then he was sent back because his head wasn't in the right place. So, you know, it's a bit ridiculous to then suggest that uh, it's Arsenal's fault because they lost 4-0. Um, I mean, I saw the game last night and they were horrendous. They were absolutely horrific, honestly. They were playing like a, a team that's going to be fighting for relegation, to be honest with you. Um, Defence was all over the place, the holes everywhere. Um... You know, Man City should have scored about 10, to be honest with you. Uh, they, I mean, you know, Tim Krul kept the score respectable for Newcastle. So to then turn around and say, well, you know, the outcome of that match had a was influenced by Arsenal's bid is a bit ridiculous, really. Uh, because A, it, it basically says that you're a one-man team, um, which is what Alan Pardew is basically saying. And two, you've just told all your... Uh, competition in the league that uh, you know what your main weakness is so it is absolutely absurd I mean the guy is a bit, a bit of an idiot anyway to be honest with you um, Pardew I've never really liked the guy this just kind of confirms uh, what kind of guy he really is um, can't see him lasting long I think he'll get sacked um, this year uh, where, well whether that's a good thing or a bad thing I don't know I'm not a Newcastle fan but you know he does talk a bit of rubbish um the second thing about this bid is that he, he suggested that we should have waited until after the game, which is a bit, again, a, a bit ridiculous. Because, you know, that would suggest that there's a transfer window within a transfer window. Like, we have to wait for clubs to finish matches and ask their permission. Well, you know, it's an open market, it's a free market, and the window's still open. If he's got a problem with the transfer window being open um, before the season starts, then he needs to speak to the FA or the Premier League or whoever's in charge of this transfer window because it's got nothing to do with us. Uh, that's the first thing I want to say, okay? Um, and you know, it's a it's a free market. We can buy we can buy sell buy buy and sell players. You know, we, we've been subjected to so many bids from you know clubs in the UK outside the UK. We've lost players for for, for years for like you know four or five seasons consecutively. Um, and you know you know you know see Arsene Wenger complaining. So it's all right when uh, Alan Pardew does it, but uh, when it happens to him, he's, he's unhappy about it. So there you go, double standards as, as usual. Um, you know, Arsenal didn't tell him to not play Johan Kabay. He could have played him, you know, was, what was wrong with him? Um, so it's a bit of a farce, really. Um, that's what I wanted to say about Alan Pardew. Um, I don't really want to spend too much time talking about that idiot. Um, the second thing I wanted to discuss was the actual bid itself. Uh, I mean, I do like Kabai. Uh, he's a good footballer, you know, very intelligent, you know, he's, he's at his peak. But um, I don't think we really need him. We need, you know, we've got ball playing midfielders. Um, we need kind of defensive, holding, defensive and sort of holding midfielders. Um, and I think if we're going to spend close to 20 million, uh, I'd much rather spend it on um, Fellaini, to be honest with you. Um, that's not to say Kabai is not a, a great player. I think he is. Um, you know, I think he'd do well in any team. But I just think that we don't need that kind of player. Um, I'm hearing that uh, we, we we've kind of submitted a bid for Paul Pogba as well, uh, who plays for Juventus. He's actually ex Manchester United. Uh, he had a very good season last year. I think he was their player of the season. And um, Apparently, I'm, I'm reading that uh, he's actually fed up in uh, Turin because of the racist abuse that's going on in Italian football, and he wants to leave. And also, um, you know, Italian football he's going through a bit of a cash crisis at the moment. So, you know, the right bid I think would be would be enough 
to sign that player. He's a, he's a good player. He's good. I've seen him actually. I've actually seen him live for one of the reserve games when I went to see um, Arsenal, and uh, he really impressed me. When he, I think he was about eighteen or nineteen at the time, and uh, I was really impressed with him actually. So I have seen him live. He's definitely the right kind of player that we need. He's a uh, he's more like a uh, a Vieira. He's very tall, athletic. I think he can do well for us. Um, the third thing I wanted to say is that there seems to be more good news coming out of the camp. Uh, players are, have travelled to Fenerbahce with question marks at the weekend. And it looks like Ramsey, Riziki, um, Sanya, Gibbs uh, should be all fit and available. And Oxley chamberlain should be back by Christmas. So although the injury is quite severe, it's not as, uh, as threatening as we first uh, thought it might be which is good because it gives him enough time to come back into the second half of the season, you know, build up his fitness, get back into the squad and, and you know, get secure his, uh, his seat on that plane to Brazil for the uh, 2014 World Cup. So um, I'm really happy for him that you know, it sounds like it's, it's not going to be um, a season out for him. So that's all I wanted to say on this video. Um, I will, again, obviously see you on tomorrow's video. If anything comes up, I'll let you know. As always, just leave me your comments uh, at the bottom of this uh, video and I'll respond to as many as I can.